Hey everyone, it's Eric Tori here and today we're going to talk about McDonald's typology. Yeah, while most people working in MTI are truly good-hearted, fascinating people, you know, there's so many cool channels out there, the majority amazing, majority of people making YouTube videos, truly good-hearted, uh, amazing people that are doing their best to promote personal growth and self-development and more connection and more harmony between different personality types. There is a small minority, a small but loud minority of people that are deeply unhealthy and that would rather use the MTI in a shallow and stereotypical way. And I call them McDonald's typologists. So McDonald's typologists, those are people that promote these kind of quick fixes to understanding everything about personnel types. They promise to tell you how to understand the type of anyone within a second. They promise to just using very superficial cues like how often a person blinks with their eyes or how much a person smiles or how much they wave with their hands. And they use this and they make simple categorizations using this model. McDonald's typologists believe that anyone can understand anyone within a second. You never need to talk to anyone again. You can just know everything about them just by observing them for a millisecond. <laughs> yeah, it's that fast. McDonald's typologists also believe that typology will solve all your problems. If you just buy their model for $500, <laughs> if you only subscribe to everything they say, all your problems are going to go away. You're gonna get this amazing happy meal. It's gonna be perfect. They're gonna take away all your insecurities and doubts. You're gonna be so confident. You're gonna be popular with the ladies. You're gonna be a master of dating. You're gonna be a social engineer. Yeah, McDonald's typologists, they love social engineering. They believe that you can use the MBTI to manipulate anyone. They believe that if you know the MBTI, you can manipulate and communicate and convince anyone of anything. <laughs> yeah. They're that smart, they're that amazing. They figured it out all by themselves, this stupid, simple model <laughs> that can be put down into one word or one phrase or one simple video. <laughs> and they're selling it for high amounts of money. Beyond that, McDonald's typologists, they're constantly trying to manipulate you. They're doing their best, they in comments, whenever you interact with them to make you feel small. They're telling you, because you don't know yourself, you're gonna have so many issues in your life. All your issues can be explained by your ignorance and your stupidity. And if only you subscribe to my model for the $500 for an hour, I'm gonna show you exactly how wrong you are and I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix all your problems. Yeah, they're doing their best. They're being so rude. They're being so mean. They're being so hurtful. They're going to use every trick in the book to make you feel small. But at the same time, they're going to leave a small door opening and they're going to say, Hey, you can still come over to my side. You can still join here. You can still buy into my wacky con stupid system and everything is going to be good. And you're going to be liked and I'm going to like you again. And you're going to become a better person. Yeah. McDonald's typology is bullshit. It's not real. It doesn't work. The human mind is too complex to be simplified into how often a person blinks or how often a person waves with their hand. You cannot understand everything about a person in one second. A lot of time you need hours of interaction, of asking deep questions, of listening intently to another person before you can truly claim to know anything about their personality or who they are. It can take months to discover something about a person. It can take years to really find out and see the real version of a person. So why do we think that just by a quick comment on YouTube or a quick comment on Facebook that we can know another person's type? Why do we believe that just after watching a second of a YouTuber, <laughs> we can know what personality type they are? So. All those people making type police videos, all those people making these kind of bullshit statements, go and educate yourself. Go and take a deep look into yourself. Go and take some time to introspect. Everyone has a right to type themselves. Everyone knows themselves best. Let people see who they are for themselves. Give people the right information so that they can 
find out for themselves who they are, but ultimately give everyone the chance to type themselves, because you can never truly claim to know another person as good as they can. You can never manipulate or bully another person. Well, you can, but you shouldn't. Now, if you actually want to have real, meaningful conversations about psychology, go check out my channel, subscribe, or check out Frank James, or check out Megan Levota, or check out Personality Hacker, or check out Harry Merle's Cognitive Personality Theory. There are so many fascinating channels out there that promise deep exploration into the human mind. Channels that will get you to really think back on who you were, your childhood, and your upbringing. So stop watching silly YouTube interviews. Stop trying to uh, use a meme to classify a person. Stop trying to use simple word choices to try to understand everything about a person. And instead, truly take your time to understand the cognitive functions and the human mind. I promise that long-term work, that consistent work is going to pay off far more than any of those bullshit models that promise you can learn everything about the human mind in less than a day. And yeah, there is no McDonald's typology. That's it. Thank you guys for watching and see you all in the next video.